Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm excited to have Troy Vossler. He's co-founder of Generator, that's with an eight, which is an accelerator for startups based in Wisconsin, the good old state of Wisconsin. They've helped over 25 companies launch, get funding and traction. We'll find out how and what they did. Troy is a three-time graduate of University of Wisconsin at Madison. And one time was not enough. BA, JD, MBA. He's also founded the very popular apparel company, Scani Nation, which I own some gear from and extended the Scani brand by releasing Scani beer. Um, yeah, when I brought my newborn up, we uh, posed her in one of the Scani. I mean, you know, I didn't know it was you at the time, but one of the Scani little uh, like onesie yeah. things. Yeah. So, <laughs> very cute. Thanks well, for thank joining you. me. Thanks for being a customer. Yeah, for sure. I uh, have, have a question. This is Inspired Insider, which is, what's been the lowest point in in how you push through yeah. those tough times? And then what's been one of the proudest moments? Yeah. So I'd say the you know in my entire kind of entrepreneurial experience, the, the lowest, toughest time was really um, when, when I had to negotiate and talk to my partner at Scotty Nation about buying them out. I mean, that process took over a year to accomplish and it took a lot of tough phone calls and bitter arguments and, uh, you know, mean emails back and forth and, and, um, you know, actual or veiled threats on both sides. And, um, I think that whole pro- process was unfortunate. And what was even more unfortunate is that I think had we taken advice we got earlier on, we could have avoided it either entirely or, or substantially. Um, so that was definitely the emotionally the toughest part because you go from a great friend starting a great company mm-hmm. and then kind of having a falling out. Um, so, yeah. so, so that was definitely the toughest experience. And, and unfortunately, it's not uncommon for entrepreneurs to, to have a falling out with – it could be between, with their investors or with their co-founders or, or you name it. Um, so that's enough of the negative. On the yeah. positive side, Yeah, what's the proud – one the of the product, proud moments, yeah. I'd have, I'd have to split it into two things. One, yeah. it's uh, on the Scotty side, it's continuing to see customers engage with the brand. Uh, it's it's walking around uh, Madison or even random parts of the country and randomly seeing someone who you don't know wearing your T-shirt. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, on the generator side of things, I'd say it's whenever our companies can can have a positive outcome. So whether that's Gaining more users, getting more traction, getting more revenue, more customers, or follow-on financing. Mm-hmm. It's when those events and those tidbits of good news come through. Uh, there's no better feeling as, as a, an accelerator, you know, manager than than getting those pieces of good news. And and really, I think it's a reflection of just the passion and hard work that the entrepreneurs that we're investing in, you know, put into their companies, and they deserve to be rewarded. But uh, actually, you know, hearing that good news is is always a great feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's- I, what, what I like to say is within a portfolio, I think this is true not only for accelerators but you know venture capitalists and so forth, um, managing the companies that are doing really great and, and great things are happening is a breeze. It, it doesn't take a whole lot of hard work. It's really the companies that are struggling more, um, that require more of your attention and more of your assistance. Mm-hmm. Um, so all things, you know, I'd, I'd love to have every company, you know, being wildly successful mm-hmm. but – Again, unfortunately, we don't have that perfect crystal ball mm-hmm. to predict these things. Plug some of the companies that are doing well so people can yeah. check them out. So you, so you got to see Eat Street. That's eatstreet.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's an online food court, online food delivery. Uh, so if, if you log into eatstreet.com, you can order Chinese food. They have an here. amazing story also. Yeah. Yeah, they over 15,000 restaurants on their platform and growing at a great pace. Uh, another cool company, uh, one of my favorites, is a company called Live Blends. They're currently based out of San Francisco. Um, they sell wonderfully nutritious smoothies that are, de- mm. you know, recipes designed by master chefs. Uh, they use a variety of organic or you know very healthy ingredients. No sugar added, no pasteurization or anything like that. And, and they're also currently working on a, a smart blender, where you could think of it as a Keurig machine, a home appliance, where you can put a frozen pot in, and then it'll actually oh. blend with a fresh smoothie, a ready awesome. single serve smoothie. So. Um, Live Blends uh, is another favorite of ours. Um, you know, we have things of all over. We have things in the healthcare space like Catalyze. They make a HIPAA compliant uh, or a HIPAA um, uh, compliant platform for develop software developers to build on top of. So uh, that if they're building anything in the healthcare space, they Big can issue. Yeah. build on top of uh, Catalyze's platform to to ensure compliance. 
um, all the way to companies like Men's Style Lab, which is uh, they're a competitor tr to Trunk Club, uh, but for the middle market. So um, they mm -hmm. allow guys who don't like to shop or guys who don't have a good sense of style or fashion to work with one of their uh, style advisors yeah. uh, on the phone or via email and then get a curated box of clothing uh, sent to their door so that they can yeah. try it on in the comfort of their own home. Yeah. They can send back what they don't want. They only pay for what they keep. Um, so co companies like that, uh, we, and we have a lot of fun with them. Yeah. You have a measure them up and you go, you look in a Scotty t-shirt. Yeah. No. Right. <laughs> I, I, uh, I should pitch that to the, to Darren, to the CEO. I should say, just slip a, a Scotty shirt into each box, but, um, I don't think that would fly too well in Illinois. So Troy, I appreciate <laughs> your time. Just tell people where, where can they check you out? Check the companies yeah. out. Yeah, definitely. So i uh, love for the fans out there to check out scanny.com, S-C-O-N-N-I-E.com. And on the generator side of things, that's G-E-N-E-R-8, the digit 8, mm -hmm. T-O-R.com. And we're currently accepting applications until January 1st of 2015 for our, for our next program, which will take place in Madison. So we'd love for you to, to check us out or just explore our portfolio companies online. And anyone can apply no matter what part of the country no you're in. And from all over the world, and, and in fact, we have made investments for in country in, in companies that have come from outside the United States. So uh, we're very open to to people coming from all over, and even in all industries. So whether it's food and beverage to fashion to uh, healthcare, IT, you know, we've invested in all those things. Yeah. Troy, this has been fantastic. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. You got it. Thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye bye now.